Hi everybody, my name is Barry Schwartz and this is the Search Buzz Video Recap. Today is Friday, August 7th, and this is the search news we covered over at the Search Engine Roundtable, seroundtable.com. First up, I published um, the monthly Google Webmaster Report where I cover pretty much everything that I find to be significant in the Webmaster community around Google organic search um, in one post. So if you want to catch up very quickly on what happened this past month, definitely take a look at this post, the past 30 days or so. Obviously the big thing is Google Panda 4.2, um, the Google, Google Search Analytics API, um, the new Google Webmaster Tools or Google Search Console warnings, notifications for cannot access your CSS and JavaScript files, as well as the incorrect hreflang uh, implementation, um, and so forth. So if you want to catch up on a lot of this stuff, def definitely take a look at that report. Um, we noticed over the weekend, I, at least I noticed over the weekend, a bunch of black hat forums, some public, some private, um, discussing a major update that happened in Google. Um, I looked, I did the, the core um, automated ranking tools like Moz and <coughs> MozCast and other ones, um, did not notice anything, but there was a significant amount of, of, of discussion in the black hat forums. And typically that means either there's some massive link penalty going around or or it means that um, Google updated the Penguin algorithm or something related to, to significant spam topics or niches and stuff like that. But Google said nothing happened. Um, the, the conversation dropped down. I know a lot of people that track Penguin issues did notice stuff with fluctuations and then went back. So maybe Google was testing something around Penguin or maybe it was some type of weird glitch. So we're not sure. Again, Google did not confirm it. They said there was no web spam algorithm update. Um, Google also introduced the Google Search Analytics API in the Google Search Console. So the Google Search Analytics report tool is their new thing they ran, came out with a couple months ago to give search uh, webmasters or marketers more data around the types of search queries people are using to find their website. Um, and now that is available for developers to access in a new API, which lets you obviously take down that data do whatever you want with it, store it somewhere, and so forth. It's really, it's really nice to have. Um, it was released um, August 5th in the morning, um, and it's available for you guys to play with. So definitely take a look at it. It's a really clean and neat API for you guys to use. Um, one developer or web, uh, developer um, actually had an, uh, a script that actually let you download your data um, for the past 90 days and keep storing that in your own database so you don't have to, like, complain that Google only gives you 90 days of data. They actually updated for, to use, to go over this new API. It's really out. It's one of the first um, tools out there that was at least out there in the public that specifically uses this new API. Um, this was designed by Paul Shapiro, and if you want to actually use it, um, he built it for you so you actually pull down your search query data very, very quickly. Big news starting yesterday into this morning, Google has dropped the seven pack for the local results, and now they're only showing the three pack. So in the past, when you did a search for anything local intent query related, like dentists or barbers or any <coughs> local intended query, Google would show um, in their web search results um, a seven pack, which basically showed you seven results um, of, from the Google My Business platform. Now, Google's only showing three results as of this morning and starting to roll out last night. Um, so here's some pictures. This is what it looked like, sorry, this is what it looked like in the past. It used to show a bunch of listings with a map on the right hand side. Now, it kind of looks more like this, where you have three, a map at the top, with the ads on the right, and then three listings with a link to more. So here's another screenshot. Map, three listings, a link to more, and then the organic results. Um, so that is rolled, rolled out. Google has not confirmed anything with us, but it's clear that Google has released um, the new three pack as opposed to the seven pack. Bing announced last night that they are now gonna serve up warnings um, for websites that they think, based on the FDA list, are fake pharmacy websites. The warning looks like this. The FDA has issued a warning letter related to the site and it may offer drugs that are unsafe. We recommend you choose another result or you go to this site anyway. Or you can go to this site anyway. Here's the information and so forth. So the, FDA, the Bing is looking at the FDA list of fake pharmacy websites and warning searches before they actually go to the website not to go there. I tested it this morning. I never saw the warning, but maybe it's still rolling out. Uh, maybe we'll see it in the near future. Google Schema now supports movie 
critic reviews. Um, Google said they're also going to push this out for TV shows as well as book critic reviews. But now the schema actually supports it. So now the rich snippets, if you do a search for reviews on a specific movie, you'll probably see um, this new schema or the rich snippet coming up. Um, so let me just quickly show you a screenshot of that if it comes up. So here's the critic reviews right over here. Um, this is a fun thing. So John Mueller from Google um, went ahead and uh, posted saying, on Google Plus, it said PSA, but this means for public service announcement. If you go on vacation, you can leave the website up and you don't need to no index it. So typically, <laughs> it's funny, I don't know why anybody would think they have to no index or prevent Google from crawling their website when they're on vacation, uh, but maybe it's because, you know, when you leave your house, you lock the doors, you don't let anybody in. And so you leave the house, you leave your website, you lock the doors, you don't let anybody in, including Google. That is a bad idea. Don't do it. It's one of those, like, oh, dough things. Um, so it's pretty funny to actually see. Google, you know, commenting on that. Obviously, he, they've seen enough people do that, or they've seen complaints from Google people saying, hey, I, you know, I'm on vacation. Why is Google, whatever. So it's funny to see that. Also, a funny thing is that Google's seen time and time again that people are complaining, or complaining that they have a, that a 404 on their website, like a page that has 404, led to their, their website having a Google penalty. Google said time and time again, there is no such thing as a Google penalty for 404 pages. Obviously, you 404 a page, Google's gonna say this page no longer exists, like a user would see this page no longer exists. But again, there's no specific penalty for having your pages 404. The pages, pages simply are 404. Um, Gary Elias said that. Also, um, soft 404s don't lead to Google penalties. That was told to us a year or so ago. And 404s can be a powerful way for you to actually go ahead and remove penalties by 404 pages that have a lot of bad links to it, instead of using the disavow. Uh, we're probably going to have to hurry up a little bit. Um, talking about the local results, so early this week I noticed that somebody tweeted that the three pack that they saw, not only was, obviously it looks different, but the main thing is that it's missing the Google Plus links, so the Google Plus page links. Um, so if this ever loads, it's starting to slow down. I can feel it getting hot. <laughs> I really should get an upgraded uh, iPad mini. Um, basically, let me show you an example. So you can see here, there are no Google Plus links to the pages, just to the websites. But over here, when I went to it, I got the Google Plus page, Google Plus page, Google Plus page. Fairly interesting. So Google's testing removing Google Plus pages links to in the Google local results. Um, Here's a neat trick um, from the local search forums from Linda. Um, you can actually use Google Map Maker to find duplicates um, and unverified listings. So if you go to Google Map Maker and you do a search for a business, you'll see verified icons. But the ones that don't have verified icons are not verified business, and they might lead to duplicate issues. And that's the key thing that many local SEOs focus on because duplicate listings can cause major just, uh, problems with the main listing. Google AdWords released a new reporting editor. It's very, very, very slick. You can actually build your own reports coming from a space that we do development here in Rusty Brick. The let clients build your own reports is a pain in the neck for a lot of reasons, um, not just because it's confusing to enable them to dry, drag and drop and build their own reports and then not understanding the reports, but also for server capacity reasons and ser server speed reasons. Um, so you can now use this like drag and drop interface to drag different dimensions and segments into here and it will actually let you build a report. It seems a little bit complicated but it's very, I've never seen an easier way to do um, some type of reporting engine like this and it's very, very easy to use. You can actually then, you know, filter the reports to build different views of those reports by pie chart, bar chart and so forth. So it's very, very cool um, and kudos to Google to releasing that from both a advertiser's perspective as well as a developer developer's perspective. Um, also, Google AdWords um, released a bulk uploader feature that lets you actually do editing during the bulk uploading process, so that's a pretty neat feature to speed things along. Um, Google AdWords updated their Android app to allow, you to, to allow you to actually do more functionality within the Android app. This was released last night. And in there, you can actually go ahead and see your billing summaries, you can update your payment cards, you can do some better uh, drilling down into performance reports. Um, there's a nice video showing how it works. Um, I posted this this morning if you want to take a look at it. And finally, 
um, Google Analytics updated their AdSense reporting engine. They now call it, they renamed it to the Publisher Report area. Um, and in there, they also, here's the Publisher Report. You can actually, it's pretty much the same reports, but it's called Publisher instead of AdSense. And in there, they also added the um, Ad Exchange linking options. So if you're using Ad Exchange as well, they, that data could go into there as well. In any event, thank you so much for listening to the Search Buzz Video Recap. My name again is Barry Schwartz, and this is the search news we covered over at the Search and Roundtable at seroundtable.com. Everyone, have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys next. Bye.